Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to our UT Source channel. Here we post videos about electronic projects. Also, you can check our website for buying discrete electronic components. Link is in video description. In today's video, I have a servo motor which I need to test but I don't have an Arduino board to connect it and drive it. Then how am I gonna test this servo motor? Well, the solution here is a servo tester that can be used to drive this servo motor by a PWM signal. You can buy this from internet but I prefer to make my own stuff so I won't be doing that. Instead, I will be using a 555 timer IC with some general component like this NPN transistor and these resistance along with couple of capacitors. If you want to know more about transistors, watch this video of ours. And without any further ado, let's begin our video. So here's the setup that I will be making or I already have made it but I will show you guys how to make it anyways. Before that let's understand some basic thing that we need before starting this build. Servos are controlled by sending an electrical pulse of variable width or pulse width modulation which is also known as PWM. There is a minimal pulse, a maximum pulse and a repetition rate. A servo can usually only turn 90 degrees in either direction for a total 180 degree movement. The PWM send to the motor determine the position of the shaft and based on the duration of the pulse send via the control wire, the rotor will turn to the desired position. In this setup, I am basically increasing the pulse width and decreasing it to move servo forward and backwards. Here's its circuit diagram that I followed. I twisted few resistance value and the setup worked better than the original value. So I change this resistance. I change 100 ohms instead of 10k. Here are the component that I used for this build. The first is the breadboard and buttons. Two buttons for forward and backward positions. A micro USB breakout board for connecting with this hefty 3 male header pin setup for connecting the servo pin. Here is the connection diagram for this setup. A 555 timer IC which is in DIP8 package. A 100 NF ceramic capacitor. 30 kilo ohm resistance which is basically to 15 K ohms resistance connected in series. 10 NF capacitor. I didn't have the THT register so I soldered this small 0603 10NF capacitor on a perf board and then added male header pin for putting this setup on a breadboard. A BC547 transistor, 100 ohm resistance, 1 kilo ohm resistance, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, 6.8 kilo ohm resistance and few jumper wires. Now let's just assemble everything. And it's done just like that well in short we just need to add this component by one by one on this breadboard according to the given schematic by using the schematic we can even prepare a PCB for making our own DIY servo tester I hope this video was helpful if yes then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time